Coach, compared to this time last year, you got a, a pretty relatively veteran roster. I guess that's a, a nice feeling as compared to 12 months ago, isn't it? Well, yeah, we got a lot of kids that are back and uh, had, had good years in the off season and uh, really excited about it. Uh, with, with a lot of the guys you return up front, we've been we've probably seen 20 teams in Region 1 all classifications, and you've certainly got one of the bigger ones. Uh, you think you'll get a lot done in the trenches? Well, we think so. We, uh, we've got a veteran offensive line, start with the Hunter Combs and Caleb Sierra in there, and then you t throw in uh, Eli Ramsey and uh, – uh, Jacob Ramsey and uh, you put big tree in there. We've got an opportunity to do some things And you had a whole lot of non-seniors touching the ball last year uh, Could you talk a little about the the returning skill quartet aside from the the two capable quarterbacks? I guess. Well, you know if, if you look at Chase Jennings, you know, he was a uh, All-state and track again this year. Uh, he's he's got some uh, Opportunities to make big plays. Got to get the ball to him in space, along with uh, Colton Folk, who was state champion in pole vault this past year, uh, and, and track and field. And also, both of those guys were state, uh, state, all state in the decathlon. So that was really big uh, for those guys. But uh, you get those guys, and you've got uh, uh, Damian Boudres, who is a uh, guy that can uh, move and do well. He went to state and track and field this past year, also. Uh, we've got uh, some some hard-nosed guys, uh, Nathan Smith, Kitten Cobble, a few others along those lines will help us. In uh, the secondary, I think we're pretty good with what we have. We've got Vaughn, we've got Folk, we've got Jennings and Boudreaux and a lot of other guys that we can fix in there. We have uh, several others that can do some things that uh, I think will be really big. And then at quarterback with Alec and Allen, uh... Well, I guess some say if you have two, you have none, but you really have two in this situation. Well, we got two good guys, two guys that uh, have different aspects. You know, uh, Alec can spin the ball pretty good. He can throw it. He make he can he can make some plays through the air. And then you got Allen, who uh, is very good with his feet, uh, very heady, a lot of moxie, uh, can make some plays with his feet, and he can also throw it. And uh, you, you, of course, you're as conscientious with working with track and field as you are on Friday nights, and. I remember the late coach Dave Walker always talking about how he loved for the ET the football players to do track and field. Uh, you, you really think they get a lot of mileage out of that that translates to Friday nights? I do. I think that football and track uh, go hand in hand. Uh, I think that it, it provides kids the opportunity to get away from football for a little bit and do something. And you see how they'll compete because in, in track you can't hide. Uh, you make a mistake, you make a mistake. If you get outrun, you get outrun. So it makes them compete a little bit. So you find a little bit about their character when they do it. And then, of course, a, a visit down here without uh, juice on the tip of the tongue wouldn't be complete. But uh, Julian Lane will have a, a chance to play some receiver quite a bit, it looks like, at ETSU this well, year. Well, you know, he's been excited. He's worked hard. He's uh, come down here, and you've seen him work. It. We've seen him work down here in the offseason some. And he's really excited about the new transfer quarterback that's coming in from Miami. And, uh, you know, we've heard good things up there from the coaching staff, and we're really excited. Okay. We appreciate your time, Coach. Thank you very much.